You hope for peace between North South Korea? This train here was actually caught in the DMZ area and during the Korean War was derailed and bombed. I remember when I was about 10 years old visiting my great grandmother in Wimbledon when she kicked me really hard under the table because I just told her that I thought religion was the cause of all war. That kick communicated so much to me because it made me just stop for a moment and think maybe I am wrong. There's a growing number of people today who don't like to associate themselves with any particular religion or faith. And it's understandable. If you look at just Christianity alone, there's apparently over like 400 different denominations, each thinking that they are the true representation of their faith. And that's just one religion. However, when you listen to the dialogue between America and North Korea right now, it makes you think that maybe just stopping to pray for a moment might not be such a bad thing. That's why when Mother Moon called over 200 faith leaders from America, from different denominations, different religions, to come together at the DMZ, that's the demilitarized zone, the part that divides North and South Korea and is possibly the most volatile part of our planet today. I thought that could be the start of something really incredible. And I wanted to find out for myself. So I did. Illegal maneuvers. Oh, that didn't sound good. Picking up a little piece. There's Graham picking up a little piece of the car. Is that part of the car? Yeah, I think it is from inside. Part that goes over the wheel. Behind the wheel, there's that covering. Oh, yeah? All right, so uh, we are on our way to the DMZ this morning, and we thought we'd heighten up the drama a little bit by uh, tearing part of the car off. Nothing that a screwdriver can't fix, I'm sure. Oh, that's no problem. It's common things in the Korea. Common you know? things, <laughs> common things. This is how we drive in Korea. Well, kids, don't believe that. We're going to the DMZ to foster a spirit of unity between not only the interfaith community, but between North and South Koreans. Um, it's kind of an adventure. Let's see if we can make it on time without any other incidents. I better put on my seatbelt. So, um, there's this little insert in the Washington Times about North Korea. Strategies to resolve the nuclear threat. That's what President Trump said on August 8th. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire, fury, frankly, power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. Ouch. We're looking at another piece that's being added today, which is prayer. Maybe God exists, and maybe God has a perspective on this. So how far are we away, Gray? We're uh, 24 minutes out. 24 minutes away from the peace bell, but we are already driving alongside the barbed wire fence which divides South and North Korea. Of course, just the other side of that fence is a huge river. Isn't that the Han River? Is it an estuary? It's an estuary. roof over there that contains the peace bell which the ministers will be ringing today okay we are here at the Imjingak this is the uh, what is this place we just arrived here at Imjing Imjingak 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 Im okay we've just arrived here at Imjingak and the ministers also arriving just getting off the bus we're going to make our way up to the peace bell any moment uh, do you know anything about this team? Okay, I know about these teams. Moon Sun Myung uh, Christian uh, religion team. Uh, 
Yeah. How do you feel about it? Because in, in South Korea it's not so popular. Oh, very, very popular Now? nowadays, and they really? live by the year by year. On this day of September 9th, 2017, we've come as representatives of 200 religious leaders, representatives of all denominations and all religions from the USA. We're coming to really pray for peace and really call for God's victory and God's blessing upon our efforts to bring peace between North and South Korea. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Father Moon predicted that the Soviet Union would collapse and the wall between Berlin East and West would crumble. He also predicted that the wall between North and South Korea will come down. And Mother Moon is saying it can happen in the next three years, by 2020, if we do our responsibility. This guy's having fun. What do you mean, Park Jong Seok. Park Jong Seok. Jong Seok. Jong Seok. Park Jong Seok. Jong Seok. Jong Seok. Park Jong Seok. It's just over that border that millions and millions of people are being told lies about the reality of the rest of the world. North Korea government controls the media, controls the entertainment, the TV, radio, all forms of communication, press. So everything that they know is propaganda. It's amazing though, south of the border you've got all these people really wishing and praying for peace. You've got families coming to this place as if it's just a, a museum. Of course it means something, but they don't seem worried about any imminent threat despite what we hear at the political level. Uh, south Korea seems totally at peace. You've got 25 million in North Korea, 25 million civilians that from what we know are essentially starving. Just take a look at the satellite imagery of Korea at night. You see South Korea lit up like a light bulb and North Korea looks like empty space. Clearly, they're cut off from the rest of the world. And who wants to be cut off from the rest of their family, right? So one world, one family. It's not just North and South Korea, but this, this perhaps more than anywhere else is evidence of the stupidity of division. There are no more pictures. Uh, we cannot uh, take any more pictures. We have been told that if we take pictures, it's very dangerous. Diplomatic problems with North Korea. If we take any more pictures, we've been told not to take any more pictures. They didn't say anything about video, though. These train tracks are in place 
for the day that North and South Korea unifies. They're going to use these tracks to drive the new trains across. I think they're going to have to take away some of this wood, though.